Hey everybody, welcome to Double Stripe Racing. I'm your host and your driver, Kimono Skunk. And I'm continuing my series on taking on Goliath. Uh, what's in my garage? And I'm, what, I'm, what that means basically is I'm taking every single car I have in my garage I'm putting up against Goliath. That's the longest since three. It's between 23 and 25 odd miles. I'm not quite sure how far it is, but I'm sure I can find out somehow. I just got in one of my cars, and what I did on some of my earlier streams, before I started really knowing what I was doing, I was running multiple cars in each stream, and what happened was when I tried downloading them to YouTube, they were too big. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through the individual cars. I'm going to have two cars per stream now until I catch up to where I was last night at Cadillac. So I have a couple of Abarths, uh, maybe Aston Martin here and there, and and whatnot. Uh, you know, even the Ariel Adam. Man, that thing's going to be a terror to drive, I tell you. But again... I'm going to do is I'm going to race the race and if I do better I'll write down the time if I do worse I'll write down the time that's fine all right so before I go on I do want to apologize first if you hear me coughing I do have asthma but I don't smoke it's just a seasonal thing that I'm always going through 11 months of the year believe me so I'm going to try and soldier on through this for you guys because you guys are my viewers you're my fans I can't see you're my family because I don't get Christmas cards from you yet, but hey, that's the deal. So let's head on down to Goliath. When I get there, I'll show you my game settings and what you do to get for most points. So let's see here. And everybody that's going to be watching this on YouTube later on, I have a chat window up above the car, right dead center put on top of the screen because if I have it on the right side of the screen it's going to block the cash that I get and the amount that I have so I want to keep that open for everybody to see if I have it on the far right right above my tachometer right there it hides my time scores for the races so I can't have it there I wish I could custom move it where I could just inch it up or inch it back and all but um I can't do that just yet so Alright, so here you are, Goliath. In case you're new to Forza, or Forza, Forza 3, how you get on Goliath is you have to have all five of your festivals. You see the festival there on top of the beach there with all the balloons and the rides and the crane games and all that crap. Well, you have five separate locations, uh, four or five separate locations, and you have to have each one of them up to level five and when you do that, that's when they open up Goliath for you. It's like, hey, hey, here you go. The biggest track in the place. Knock yourself out. You're the boss. So I figured this is a little fun project I'm going to do. And with your help, let's make it enjoyable. Right now, I'm going to be doing my Fiat Abarth 595. Let me show you how to set up the event and the points that I'm getting. I do it this way. What we would do is go here. Hit your right bumper button until it says progress. And when you get here, you look on the lower left at skill shop. See where it's highlighted? Click that. And since I'm the boss, I got all these highlighted. I worked through them all and I got them all done. What you want to do is go to skills. And you see where I'm going to have this highlight at? That one right there. You do that, you get extra triple skills XP for the next three races. That means for the next three cars I race, I'm going to get triple points. I'm on my last points right now, and I can't reset it. Before I start my next car, you got to remind me to reset that, otherwise I'm going to lose a lot of points. So I'm going to be hoping on you guys to help me out with that, okay? All right, we have that on. And if I get more points, what else I could do is hit the bumper here. And click that you get double credits for your next exhibition race that's only one race but then you get double credits and that's a lot but I don't have quite that many points saved up just yet to run that to keep running as if I do I'll run out of the 
XP bonus that I really like more. I think you can do more with the XP bonus than you can with the cash. Alright, well, that explains that. Let me show you how to get the race started. You click on the two boxes button, set up event. What you want to do is go here to exhibition. Yeah, I could really talk today. Yeah, I'm all like stuffed up and groggy in my head and everything. Yeah, this one's going to be fun tonight, kids. Hey, right, what we want to do is go one, two over to the right. This is Don Joe Wan Song's Goliath map, Anything Goes. What we want to do here is click and then watch what happens. You get your cars as choosable instead of the quote-unquote factory cars they give you at the uh, parade grounds and such. Uh, these are cars that you've made that you're all comfortable with and you're preferably driving because I wouldn't want to drive the showroom's factory cars after I didn't get my little mitts on them so this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be choosing all my cars through here. I have about 190 of them. 190, 195, somewhere around there. But in each wheel spin, you have a chance of winning another car. So that's why I've won so much. So, all right, let's get this party started. That's quote pink. So, I'm going to start here with my 68 Abarth 595 SSS SSS SSS. As you can tell, the host is about as nutty as a loon. So, just fair warning. I'm so crazy, my wife over here on the couch is looking at me funny and just shaking her head. Well, hey, she does that all the time anyway. It's par for the course. Alright, while that's loading, I need some of my tea. My wife makes this for me every day. She's a great cook. I'm spoiled, I tell you. Of course I'm spoiled. She got me the damn Xbox last month and I love it. I Let's get going. And one point is, a lot of my cars are going to be four all wheel drive. I always say four wheel drive, but it reminds me of a truck. But I'm going to be using all wheel drive mainly. Only because my driving skill is about that as a common household, household plant, like a shrub. I'm not like Don Joan Song, and that guy's just amazing at racing. I can't match his skill for another at least five years. So he he's really good. Check out his stuff on YouTube. You'll be blown away. Blah 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 blah. You know. And I usually keep my streams about half hour, 45 minutes long each. So they're not too bad. It's not like you're watching a. Uh, you know, Titanic or anything, having to take all your damn time just for me. No, I wouldn't ask you to do that, so. I'm gonna try and keep them, you know, like mid-sized bites, you know, something enjoyable. Because if you get it too long into a stream and you're just like, oh man, is this guy ever gonna shut up? I'm gonna tell you no, so I gotta keep the entertainment going. So, if you're in it now, you're in it for the full ride. Yeah, I modified this little Abarth for handling, not really for performance. Of course, it goes a little bit quicker than it did stock, but hey, it's my little car, and so I'm racing it. I'm just amazed about how dwarfed my Abarth is compared to that Corvette I just passed. But it's not sticking the glue. Oh, look at that wreck. I failed. Oh, and I landed on all four tires. Look at that. Let's see if I can come back from last place. I do sometimes, but hey, when I wreck, it's all genuine. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not doing it for laughs or wind up the laugh track for y'all. I'm racing this as best as I can. To show you I'm not exactly the best driver out here. But hey, that's what makes the channel fun. You know, who wants to look at uh, NASCAR races, see somebody race by half a door by somebody else at 270 mile an hour? Um, you're not going to see that here. You're going to see wrecks and plenty of wrecks, spin outs, uh, crashing through trees, crashing through buildings, and all that fun stuff. 
Yeah, I'm not a race driver like the stink, believe me. I'm a skunk, so I gotta be the stink, okay? But this is a really fun course. Try this course, you'll find out how good you are with the cars, because all the cars are different, they perform different, they accelerate different. And the more that you do this course, the more you're going to learn it. I've driven it mm, like about 20, 30 times already, but I still got a lot more to learn about it. So, hey, doing that with each car, trying to keep it between, let's say, 13 minutes and 16 minutes. And yes, there's one car that's over 25 minutes long it takes to complete the course. Yeah, that's uh, the BMW Isetta. I already did that car about two days ago. So, And there's some cars on here that are so fast. I'm literally shivering as I'm driving them because I'm so frightened of them. And it's not the car's fault that they're such great high-performance cars. It's the driver's fault because the ability is not there to control them, so. And here we are, already 11 minutes into my stream, and I'm only maybe a quarter of the way through. But yeah, I mean, that's just how much I talk. Sorry for that. And I need to mention, I do have a Patreon page, and my one YouTube channel, uh, Double Stripe Racing, is actually up for AdSense right now, so I'm going to be getting ads on there. If I get a couple thousand subscribers and like 10 million views over 1,800,000 hours or something like that, then I might start getting paid, but I just started this project like a week ago, so I'm just going to have to see how that goes. Yeah, I had somebody actually compliment me on my Fiat Abarth, no, not not this video, but uh, the BMW I set a video I did. That thing was about as torturous as you can get, but got to give the car some love. Hey, it was a car in my garage, and I told you I was going to race it, so that's what I'm doing. I raced it. Well, I had somebody compliment me on the race, and I was all excited. I was like, oh, man. I showed the wife. I was all happy and giddy and jumping up and down and crap. Yeah, that's pretty funny looking when a 50-year-old guy jumps up and down all happy because of face a uh, YouTube comment. Turns out this guy was trying to sell me his quote-unquote secret on unlocking the YouTube, um, what's that, the uh, programming data or something like that to get you more views. He says, yeah, it only costs you $9.95 or something like that, or your firstborn or your blood type or your liver. Yeah, and I responded, well, guess what? I'm, I'm relying on my channel's viewers to pay me, not only YouTube, but my Patreon, and I'm responsible for that money, so I'm actually going to use their money to try and make you rich? Nope, that ain't going to happen there, Buster, because I have bills just like you do, and I'm not going to make myself sound better than I already am. So you can take your offer and you can stick it up into Lang City somewhere. You know, I don't care, because I'm not going to buy it. The only way you get views on YouTube is if you do hard work or you find something that you're good at. If you do find something you're good at, put it on YouTube, hey, you might be famous. I haven't found that yet, so. Well, there goes that Corvette again. That's an older ZR1, I think. I wouldn't be surprised if this little Abarth has either maybe a straight four Honda engine or maybe a uh, motorcycle engine from Honda. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, <laughs> let me know. Hey, it's a neat little car. I like it, but I think I, me and my wife would be driving it. We'd be like shoulder and shoulder together in the front seat. Kept it off the guardrail that time. Uh, that car in number three position is one of the Hot Wheels cars. I forget what it's called, but I do have the Hot Wheels expansion on this game. 
Take it from me, it's fun as anything. You gotta try it. If you're a Hot Wheels fan like I am, from way back when, yeah, you need that expansion. It's that fun. I don't, however, have uh, Blizzard Mountain. I don't have that yet. I'm still debating whether I want to get it or not. But I can't get it right now because I can't afford it. And that's what happens if you overcompensate on that turn. You get up into that tree line right there on the left side. That is always, always a hard turn to get through. No matter what you do, you always manage to find yourself overcorrecting and sliding up that hill or down across the road into those trees on the right. There you go, that's a sideways slide at 85 mile an hour. How do you like them apples? I'm amazed I'm at third place with this little car. I thought I'd be back somewhere around 10th. I'm gonna quote the mighty jingles to the car ahead of me. Hello, it's me! Because now I'm going to have to pay him royalties for using that line, I bet. And there I go, I was fooling around and I ended up failing. <laughs> See what I get for trying to be funny? Now come up between here and when we enter the city are some of my favorite right hand turns like this one where you're able to actually slide the car for a good bit. If I actually would have kept that thing going I'd probably have gotten some good points. See the thing about this car is so little you really don't need a huge engine to give it you know like a lot of power out of performance. I just love this little car. I like it because it's just so different. Well, I was going to try and slide around that corner, but I couldn't do it. Why? Because physics and fail. <laughs> the two dreaded things about this race and me trying to mix. Physics usually happens in fail. That might be a good catchword for this, um, yeah, for this stream. Physics and failing. What do you think? Bam! Like that. Nice Pontiac Trans Am just went by me. I've been a fan of Pontiacs all the time. And that little Hot Wheel just hit one of the, um, uh, concrete made um, like planter things for a plant on the, side, on the sidewalk there and he got stopped right dead in his tracks I kind of feel bad for the guy you know, like this much well he'll catch back up with me again blink Love the anime painting on the side of that car. Yeah, if you might guess, I'm huge into anime. I really enjoy it. Love drawing. Draw with my daughter quite a bit. I'm not that good at it either, but she is. I like racing games. I enjoy cars. I enjoy being married to my beautiful Southern Belle wife, who's my best friend. Ever since 2000. Now it's 2018, so yeah, I guess 18 years. I think it's long enough to be with somebody. And they would know you better than you know you. Trust me, my wife's the smaller one between the both of us.
Now coming up here is going to be a really sharp turn. I'd say 8 out of 10 times I usually screw something up. I usually go right off the bridge over the rocks and through the bridge over to Grandmother's house we go. Ah, at that time I made it through pretty well and because I was concentrating trying to blow my mind out of my ears. Hey, hello. How you doing there, buddy? How are you? Right now I'm redoing some of my older cars I did on some of my first streams I did before I knew what I was doing. I had too many cars on a single stream and YouTube wouldn't accept it. So I'm redoing some of the earlier cars that I've had. How are you making out on uh, Forza 3 yourself there, my friend? Oh, wait a minute. I think you're up past my level right now, right? So I ought to be, you ought to be saying that to me. <laughs> How you been? Yeah, right now I'm reading the chat to my friends I see on screen who actually tunes into my Mixer channel. Uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I do have a Mixer channel. It's called Double Stripe Racing. And I'm just telling that to anybody that's going to be seeing this on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. I had to do a lot of editing to some of the videos. I had downloaded on my tablet today, but my tablet's starting in grumpy and... Yeah, go sub. Go ahead, please do. Uh, yeah, I have two uh, YouTube channels. One is Komodo Skunk by name, and the other one is Double Stripe Racing. That's also under me. But if you can, really, go to my Patreon page and sign up on that. Only a dollar will take you very far, believe me. Yeah, I gotta keep pushing that now and then. Because I'm trying to be a good businessman. And right here, you always got to try and stay out, of the, stay out of the water, stay out of the surf, because it will slow you down and it will probably pull your car to one side. And that will mess up your racing lines and might get three guys to pass you right before the finish line and you'll be all grumpy and bored and saying, I should have won that. I should have stayed out of the water. Yeah, first place. There you go. Let's see how well I did on that one. I gotta go back through pages and pages and pages of notes to find my first time and see how I did. Actually, my first time was better, but I will use this time, believe it or not, because you guys are here as witnesses. I don't want to be dishonest, so I'm going to write down my new time. That's 1511378. Yep. Let me show you the points I get for this. This fiasco I kind of try and call racing a race. All right, let's see here. Oh, what's my YouTube channel again? All right, I have two of them. It's Kimono Skunk, just like my name on here. And the second one is Double Stripe Racing. You don't think I have any subs on Double Stripe Racing yet. I had like one or two people probably check it out for like about half a minute and they'd left. Yeah, 95,000 credits here for that race is not bad. Now watch the XP here. See that perk bonus of 33,000? You get that when you click that uh, triple XP bonus before each race. Yeah, you found it. Good job. And yeah, the icon on there is my pet rabbit, Chloe. She's a, a mini lop. She's white with black stripe down her back, black ears, black face, and dots all around her. 
She's smart as a dog, but she doesn't bark yet. But give her a couple months, I'm sure she'd learn how. Now let's see if I win a car. If this spins onto a bright green spot, a really cheap one, like that, please put down cheap in chat. Because usually this spinning wheel gives you nothing but cheap anyway. It either gives you cars or cheap. And that's a cheap one. Alright, my time in the uh, stream right now is 25 minutes. I spent about half that yapping before I actually started racing. So I can have another race with my next car. Let me show you. But before I do that, I have to reset my XP. My XP bonus. That again is down here at skills. Go here to the middle one, skills. Yeah, it's spelled out right there. Do is click that. It only costs 10. And as you race, you get to fill up that with more. Click. There you go. Now you can race three times and get all that benefits. Now I get to save up. For the next time I have to reset, I should have more stars in it to roll it over again. I hope that made sense, because if it didn't, I don't know if I can explain it to you again. Alright, go here at Exhibition, like I said. Go click, click. This is Don, John, uh, Don Joan Song's Anything Goes Goliath, right here, with the supercars on the front. Click that, and you'll bring up your own cars again. Now, since these next two cars are Acuras, and they're fairly common to each other... I'm only going to race one of them, and they're both the same rating, A705, so I'm just going to uh, click real quick and just see which one it comes up as. There. Okay, I'm going to choose that one, so. Yeah, uh, Halo says in chat, I wish I had more credits like you, I'm really low on money in Forza Horizon 3. I got almost, what, 14 million? I wish I could loan it to you. I would. And that's no problem. Um, I know in the previous Forza games you can gift cars away to friends, but not money. Uh, what you could do is, after you get all your uh, Horizons up to level 5, start racing Goliath like I'm doing. Just really crank it out. And you'll be making 100,000 per race. Easily. And if you have that other button clicked, You'll double it to almost um, 200,000. So you do that, and like I said, you'll be really cashing it in. Plus, you get all those wheel spins and all that money. So that's how I was able to get 14 million so far. Sanjay, I think I might have mugged one or two drivers on the way over here. Yes, yeah, so right now I'm trying out the Acura. These are nice cars, too. Yeah, this one's more stock. Um, I didn't really touch the engine or anything. I just put on nice wheels. Well, hey, you'll get it. You only, you probably bought a lot of cars too, right? Really, I don't really buy any cars. I only buy like maybe one or two of them a month, I think. That's only when I really started. I really wanted like my Mercedes, my Jaguar, and my Mazda Miata. Bunk. But yeah, I don't really buy cars unless it really hits me funny. Right between the eyes. Uh, other than that, I just really save up for uh, for different cars. You know, if I need to. Now my friend Jake, who's just about 70 years old, he really races cars. He has a really nice Mazda Miata in real life. It's all, you know, roll, roll caged and mini tubbed and all that. Oh, thank you for the subscription, my friend. If you're the first subscriber, I give you a salute right now. Thank you very much. There's also a Komodo skunk you could also subscribe to. I think I got like 35 on there. Nothing really exciting on there, just general mayhem. Yeah, these Acres are fairly nice cars. I like them. I like the four-door models. 
It's too bad they didn't really have any uh, station wagons out, but of course that's the Acura division of Honda, not Acura. I don't know if they had any wagons out. But with me, I mean, I'm not really picky on the cars I have. I mean, there's some I do like, some I don't. But usually there's something about each car I do like. So it wouldn't be really that hard to satisfy me with a car that I might have. Now, if you ask me a favorite car I'm going to get whenever I get my retirement going, that's going to be a hard decision. <laughs> but of course, I always liked, you know, muscle cars and stuff. You know, like the Camaros and the Mustangs and all. And even the Challengers. I really like them and the Chargers. Mainly because they're four doors. And I have a family. And it's me, my wife, and my 13-year-old daughter. They all love cars. That's why I can't get a two-seater like the Mazda Miata. Otherwise, I would have. So I love those Miatas. I really do. When I saw my, J my friend Jake's Miata about a year and a half ago, I drooled. It was that nice. And I was like, I wish I could get one of these cars. I really do. But then after I saw it, I decided, well, it's only a two-seater, so I gotta get more of a car that has a available back seat for the daughter. So that eliminated some, and then that, you know, it, I hope you understand what I'm saying, is I just completely lost my train of thought. <sighs> yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I didn't even realize I was in fourth gear right there. I should have went up at least fifth or sixth. Oh yeah, this is only a five-speed. I didn't even touch the transmission in it. So yeah, this car is about as stock as I could get it. But usually I'll put on better tires you know, better suspension, you know, springs, you know, drop it down quite a bit, you know, lower it. Then race brakes and, you know, the uh, frame stiffeners that you would get, you know, put them on like a Mustang you would need. Uh, and like frame bracing so the car doesn't flex when you're going around every corner. But I don't touch the internals of the engine to make more power. But... Uh, it's that way I just keep the cars, you know, like in their own rank. You know, it's just they'll be able to handle better. Oh, wow, a couple people are about level 1,000. I can't even picture that yet. But yeah, in about six months, I just might. You know, if I keep racing, you know, like eight, nine hours a day and streaming. You know, so I'm really trying. You know, and my friend Jake, who actually got me into Forza, he said he actually races this track for 50 laps. 50 laps. That's going to take about eight and a half hours. So I watched other people do it. That's insanity. I mean, you got to be part freaking machine or something to be able to do that. I'd have to take breaks. I'd have to take a nap. <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that all in one sitting. I don't know. I'd have to at least get an IV bottle with, you know, all hot tea in it flowing straight into my arms so I'll be able to stay awake for the whole thing. Yeah, fifth gear almost 150 mile an hour. Not bad for a little Acura. And yeah, then there's going to be the import guys that really love these cars saying, yeah, I can get 800 horsepower out of a Honda. I believe you can. I've seen the videos. But then where's all reliability going to be? Hey, but you still got my respect, because, hey, anybody that wants to modify their car their way, they got my respect. 
<laughs> I've done five la five laps once. I was going to say five lips, but uh, skunk again makes no sense. Go figure. I've done five laps once or twice, and yeah, that's about where my sanity would about end. Or <laughs> go off worse than it already is, because I don't really have that much sanity anyway. Yeah, how insane is it trying 195 cars on Goliath, the hardest course in Forza, without really that much uh, hope of, you know, raking any kind of records or something like that. Oh, man, I hit that card real hard. I tried slowing down. Let's see, that's what happens when you got the performance skill of a shrub. There you go. I did that one pretty good. And everybody's like, flames out of the exhaust, dude. Look at that. Yeah, it's called engine braking. You don't see me rolling my eyes here, do you? <laughs> Hey, if there's one thing I could be on this channel, I could try and be funny for you guys. I'm certainly no expert racer. Say, so, hey, I gotta get the laugh somewhere. I gotta make it entertaining for you. Now, here comes that really hard corner I told you guys about before. You have to slow down for this. It is deceptive on you. You take it too far, you'll be up that hill in those trees, or you'll overcompensate and you'll be on the ones on the right. See that? I'm finally learning where that corner is. This last round, I screwed up. Pretty looking, uh, is that a Ferrari next to me? It might be that or it might be a Lotus, but it's a really nice color. I like that. Yeah, skunk is fingernail pink. Go figure. Yeah, there's actually a Dodge painted that color. Called Furious Fuchsia. Whoa, that Ariel Adam just blew right by me like nobody's business. Wow. Oh, look at him. He's trying to push me over. What a nice guy. Here goes that gorgeous GTO. My brother Mike used to restore GTOs before he became a police officer. He has one right now in his garage. He's about halfway done. He's got like 30 grand into the thing so far. Yeah, I think, hey, if he's got good money to do that kind of thing, go ahead. But of course he's in debt up to his eyeballs, so I'm not going to say a bad thing about that. See what I could do here on this corner. Oh, not really any kind of um, slide or nothing. Fail. Yeah, look at that GTO up in front of me, the red car. It's a 66. <laughs> Those cars are normally really well known for. You know, not performance, but really good handling. But man, I'm watching that back end of that car bounce around through every turn. That thing ought to be scary. You know, it's been leaning so much. Dude, you gotta get that Pontiac handling, man. Come on. Put some good suspension on that. Put some stickier rubber on there. You'll be fine. But then it goes right past me with the uh, with that 389 tri-power engine he has in that. Yeah, I know quite a bit about Pontiacs, I do. I like those Pontiacs and being the weirdo I am. I actually like the 70s, because my mom had a Le Mans way back when. I also like the 74 Pontiac GTOs. They only made them for that one year and spaced off the Nova. You know, the same kind of body style, frame type look. I like them. Now, the 2004s and 2006 GTOs, I really like. I think one of those would be a little bit more approachable for me to get instead of one of the older ones. Because, hey, they're from Australia. You know, they're the Holdens, I believe. 
I think they're the Holden GTOs. I'm not sure, but if anybody from Australia wants to correct me, please do. I'm all ears. I love hearing about that kind of thing. Ugh. I just couldn't get around that corner quick enough. There goes that pink Maybelline car. That Lotus. Hey, you're from Canada. Cool. Hey, a little known fact about me and my wife. We're both part Canadian. What part? The good part. Actually, I have uh, relatives from Napine, Ottawa. You know, that area of Ontario or Ottawa. But yeah, that's one of my bucket list things to do. To quote one of the things on here on Forza you could do is make bucket lists. Well, mine is to go to Canada, Australia, and Japan. Those are the three places I would love to go to. And I sadly don't have a Canadian accent. I wish I did. I just sound like I'm from Philadelphia. Go figure. The city of brotherly homicides. But yeah, I'm happy that this year the Eagles actually won the uh, Super Bowl from the New England Patriots. I really don't like that team. But don't worry, I'm not a super diehard guy that has all stats coming out of his ears. Nope, that's not me. I just enjoy the game. Just like my wife. Yeah, while wow, that's awesome, the Eagles won, or while wow, that's awesome, I'm from Canada. <laughs> Actually, I'm not from Canada. I'm born in, in this part, but I am part Canadian. That's from my dad's side. Now, the only bad thing about these long races like this, my nose is itchy and I can't scratch it. Because if I do, I'm going to go way off the beach into somebody's house somewhere. And it's going to take me a week to extract my car from it. So I'm not going to itch my nose until the end of the race, but I'm going to be in some serious agony by the time the, the finish line comes. Because right now my whole face is like twitching. You know, it looks like I'm losing my mind right now but I'm trying to keep my nose at bay right now it's going to tear itself off my skull and start running down the street hey as long as I beat that Maybelline car I'm happy I don't know if I could beat that GTO though that guy's seriously quick yeah see that back end see how he's you know leaning into the corners and all you know see that it's like man the guy's gonna to have to hold on to the steering wheel with both hands both hands, both feet, and both knees. I don't know. But hey, those GTOs were known back then in the 60s and 70s to handle really good. That guy's got to do something to that suspension and get that thing up to par. Now, see, this is where the advantage of having all wheel drive on your cars is the best because you're dealing with the sand, dealing with the surf, and if you get your car into the water, any deeper than that, it's going to pull you off to the side or pull you into these rocks. And you'll be grumpy saying, oh, the finish line was up there, that was no fair. Well, you shouldn't have driven through the the, uh, the water there, bucko. The best thing to do is try and stay on the sand at least. Unless you have a big four-wheel drive like that Chevy Blazer I was racing against earlier, then he can just power through anything. Alright. First place on that one. Hey, it's actually making me look like I know what I'm doing. 1541. 15.41. Forty-one, five, forty-two. See, before I had the chat window on the right side of my screen, it would cover up about half of the actual time numbers on the screen there, from one to ten. And I'd have to guess about at my times. I was usually using the best lap time. And that's not true for me. It's the actual time. 
I was actually cheating everybody out of an honest time there. So I'm glad my daughter caught that and said, hey, Dad, you're writing it wrong. I was like, huh? Derp? What? So I'm glad I'm doing it right now for you. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to collect the points real quick. And I'm going to cut the stream for about two to five minutes. Let their stream reset. Then I might do another stream. It matters if my daughter wants to come down and play Xbox or not. I should be able to for one more stream at least for two more cars. So if you want to stay tuned for that, I'd say just stay in chat. I will be back, I promise. And look, got yourself another 100,000 XP. All because of doing that little trick I told you. Oh, you know, about every car in the game, including the DLC. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see if I get a car. Yeah, I'll take that chopper, no problem. I will take that. Ah, got a Subaru Brat. I think that's the third one I got. I have the Horizon Edition Brat, which I modified. That thing's quick. I actually used that to win all the street races I was up against. And every time you win a street race in this game, you get the person's car. You know, they come out and they call you out at midnight saying, Hey buddy, I want your car. You call yourself the boss of Horizon? Yeah, well, I'm going to kick your ass. Well, I got like five cars from each guy I beat, including a Grand National. So, take that one with a grain of salt about, the, about as you know, big as you want to. Alright, I will be back. Give me about two to five minutes. I will be here.